Welcome to Hokkaido International School Niseko in Hokkaido, Japan. My name is Shannon Koga and this is my safe school audit. I am the elementary principal for this school and our demographics are a whopping 13 students with three full-time teachers and one full-time office staff. Our students are long-term residents of Japan who are mostly bicultural, uh, bicultural Australian, New Zealand, Canadian, with one other Japanese parent. Hokkaido International School is a dual campus school. Our main campus is in Sapporo City and it has been there for 50 years. This is our new campus that was um, built, purpose built, about 18 years ago. About 10 years ago, the people of Niseko, it, which is a ski resort town of about 4,000 people, approached our school asking them to create a satellite campus. Uh, originally, there were about 13 families who, who asked us to come to the town, uh, but after the 311 earthquake and nuclear meltdown here in Japan, most of those families went back to their home countries, and we were left with a just-begun school. Fortunately, the town of Niseko stepped in, and they gave us a building rent free for 20 years and they renovated it for us which I'll get into a little bit later. I have been at this school since August of 2013. Prior to that I was a leader at the main campus and then the most recent development is our school garden which we created in May of this year. So our, camp our campus is a dual campus. We have students who come from the main campus and spend time on our campus and vice versa. School facilities here um, are, are quite unique, I think. Because we've been given the building um, by the town, we're quite lucky in what we have. The school was originally a kindergarten and it housed about 90 students in three classrooms. We currently have, as I said, 13 in three classrooms. We have multi-age uh, preschool in one classroom, grades kindergarten to two in a second classroom, and grades three to six in the third classroom. Here you have those three classrooms. And the facilities, our office, which is in the main entrance, and the approach to the school. One of the issues in my audit of the school was not just the building, but the outside of the building and the um, use of the surrounding area. You'll see here, this is the visual that I added. Um, the back behind the school where we have planted our garden, there are issues there. There are issues with the um, fire detectors being non-existent in the school and uh, a hazard of course um, to our students. Our building was renovated for us prior to going into the building and so we're quite lucky in that we have all new heating system, uh, new walls with magnetic um, with magnetic wallpaper I guess you would call it 
and all new surfaces, both floor and wall. The town is responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of the building and of the grounds. The only issues that we have to take care of are day-to-day -day maintenance and um, items such as cleaning and uh, daily services. The environmental conditions are one area that I found of concern when I originally did this audit. This is back behind the school next to the garden. We have the community shed there. It is, it is locked um, permanently and school has a key as does the town. But next to the shed you can see those trees. They're already leaning over uh, all about to fall onto the power lines that are right there and the town has already been in to take a look at that and they as well they're responsible for that upkeep uh, we we can very quite easily talk to them and ask them to do specific things however one of the things that that has come up just in the last two weeks uh, has to do with snow and while doing the audit originally I did not really think of seasonal issues and now I realize that that is something that I should have done. These are the fences being taken down uh, for the snow. Being a ski resort town here we have about 15 meters of snow and the snow plows bring in all of the snow from our approach and push it onto the main playing field that we have. It's wonderful that we get um, a great big high hill for sledding but in the process they remove all of the fencing around the school. The neighboring elementary school then has free access up the um, embankment between the two schools and it can be uh, a hazard to both our students and their, the other elementary school students. Winter has begun here in Niseko already. This picture was taken this week. Um, it's our water supply for the summer out on just the playing field. In the winter time one of the issues that we have is that this whole area is under um, about 10 meters of snow that's pushed in by this bulldozer and of course um, as it begins to melt this particular water fountain becomes a hazard. This is what it looks like when when snow is full on. The one issue that we have of deferred maintenance is the smoke and fire detection system. We have applied to the town now to have uh, smoke detectors put into the building. Also, according to Japanese not law now, as of last November, it is uh, illegal not to have them here, so we are working on that uh, immediately. The funding, as I said, for Niseko for our campus is ta both town and main campus. Uh, we have educational funding from the main campus and then building funding from the town. One of our poor practices is our storage facilities and what is pretty much the, the uh, principal's office. It's become a storage facility and it really does need uh, issues taken uh, into consideration here as to how we're going to organize and work in that space. For public opinion, our school is quite... Um, open and has many visitors throughout the daytime. We have a public mommy and me group which comes in once a week that brings in 25 to 30 uh, small children ages 3 and under. One of the um, issues about this school is that it, it has a an automatic lock on the front door However, when that lock is in place, there is no remote unlocking system, and so the office staff needs to leave their office, head to the 
front entrance, unlock that each time the alarm goes off. Therefore, we have not kept that system in place. Uh, the town here is a town of 4,000 people and um, security and safety are not issues uh, that we um, have have difficulty with. Uh, I think the the idea that Japan is a safe place is is very common, but our town of four thousand people really everyone knows everyone who is here, and so we're not really worried about having the doors locked or unlocked. Again, morale is the same. Our school's very open, and um, we we really enjoy having. Um, the public freely come in and out of the building. Lastly uh, is a transportation within our school. Uh, being only of 13 students, uh, we mainly have parents who deliver their kids to school and from school. I do run a school bus system which picks kids up in the morning and takes them back home. Um, their favorite thing to do in the morning as we're going to school is sing Let It Go at full voice, full volume. Um, so that's them singing here. Lastly, um, this, is, this is our uh, international and global town that we have here in Niseko, Hokkaido, Japan. Um, we really set a precedent for ski resort towns and um, really setting a global standard, I think, on, on the type of inclusion that a town and a school can have, the kind of collaboration. And I encourage you to check us out on our website. Thank you very much.